Southwest Georgia, home of one of the most bitter rivalries in all the sport of hunting. For three seasons, the Thump Monkeys have battled the Killbillies for nothing more than bragging rights. This season, it's serious, it's on camera, and you'll witness it almost as it happens. This is Foxworthy Outdoors, inside and out. Some people live to work. You know, I don't get that. I work to live. In fact, the day I die, if there's mud on my boots, there'll be a smile on my face. These are the people I like to hang out with, doing the stuff we like to do. And I love it. Foxworthy Outdoors, inside and out. Welcome to Foxworthy Outdoors, inside and out. Well, it is the opening weekend of bow season in Georgia. Where's Jeff? On the road in California doing shows. Like, I don't know how they know how long to make the cord for the first bungee jump at a new place. <laughs> All right, Ed, let him jump! All right, Ed, shorten it up a little bit. Give his girlfriend a free T-shirt. To pay for all the grain and all the stands and all the stuff that's needed on the farm. In the meantime, all my knucklehead friends have the key to the gate, and they are running wild. Now, this first hunt is going to be with my brother Jay. He, uh, we have some uh, sawtooth acorn trees that are dropping, and the deer are pounding them. And I think Jay has a chance at a pretty good deer here. All right, here we are in Georgia, September 8th, opening day of bow season. And uh, we're set up over some sawtooth acorn trees where we've been seeing a lot of deer. Actually seen a couple of pretty good bugs, but right? a lot of deer as a representative of the killbillies. I'm trying to get us on the board first. All right, so we finally get to get in a tree. Been waiting for this moment, as everybody does, throughout the end of the summer. And we get in the tree, got Brent up there with me, just kind of waiting for a deer to come along. And then, what do you know, there's a big buck early. When the big deer walks out, and I've got the killbilly devil on my right shoulder that is so thankful that we actually have got horns in range opening morning, but also I've got the thump monkey devil on the left shoulder that says he's three-year-old deer, you know he's a three-year-old deer, so you better pass the memo on deer hunter. You know, Glenn had told us there was a couple big deer over there, so this big deer comes up after watching him pretty close. Uh, he needs another year, so we let him go, but it sure was fun to see and kind of got the heart going to start the season. Well, Jay, yeah, true, that is a good deer, but here's a problem with the killbillies. Every time they see horns, it's a good deer. Well, Jay didn't get his shot, doesn't mean a new prospect didn't stick one. Well, at least somebody got it done on opening day. Somebody had to. <laughs> somebody had to pull the slack in this. Yeah. Good, the only good news is you ain't a pump monkey. And killbillies have a tradition like none other. Hey, that's what I hear. We don't have a lot of standards. 
But it's a, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a easy management to play for. You start playing for the thump monkeys, they're old, they're cranky. Every one of them is about 103. Congratulations, boy. First deer of the year. Yes, sir. Dirt, baby. Un, he's unspoken for in more ways than one, but we want to make him a kill billy. Well, all I can say is I need to be on the team kill billy. This here is my first resume. I hope it's just good enough to get on the right team instead of the old man team. On our farm, we have two teams. It's the Thump Monkeys, which is me, my farm manager, Glenn Garner, my buddy, Larry Burns, and Ned Yost, the manager of the Kansas City Royals. We've been together for three seasons. We have three championships. We're professional. We go out there and we do it right. Now, the other team, led by my brother, Jay, is Jay Brent Burns, Larry's son, and John Swinehart. They're young thug punks. Here's their leader's trophy buck from two years ago, two-year-old. Good job, Killbillies. These guys will take everything that's not nailed down from the Thump Monkeys. Not one Killbilly has bought a broadhead in the last three years. They haven't used one of their arrows. They take our stuff. They make fun of us being the old guys. We're not old, we're experienced. What the heck, man? Somebody take my broad head? Still Billy. Still Billy. Just to clarify the Still Billy stigma that we've been stuck with, the Thump Monkeys are in a little different tax bracket than most of the Kill Billies. So we're excited to have Jacob as a rookie. If you evaluate him, he is a kill billy through and through. This segment has been brought to you by Bad Boy Buggies. They'll never hear you coming. And a pump monkey in the house. Kill billies. Trying to get on the board, get a little lead. Before all the pump monkeys get through with doing what they do. So let's go do it. This segment brought to you by Foxworthy Outdoors Deer Tracks, powered by Helena. Put them where you want them. All right, here's the way the scoring goes for the competition. You get three points for a doe. If you happen to shoot two in the same day, you get bonus points for that. Ten points for a buck. We do have daily double bucks on each side of the property, which is a selected coal. And those are worth 20 points. And then one point for varmints and five points for coyotes. So there are a lot of opportunities to get points. You know about the scoring system, I saw Big when he was going through this with you guys and he forgot a couple of points. It's minus 10 points for a button head and also minus 10 for a deer that's not old enough to shoot. Kill Billy's written all over. Looks like three more points coming into range.
Well, what the people didn't see is Brent's 25 and 35 yard chip shots he missed just prior to that. She's clean. I got these guys scared to death about shooting button heads. Kill Billy's on the board. <laughs> We're up nine nothing, guys. The year's off to a good start. You know, you'll hear the thump monkeys when, they, when they're pitching themselves, call themselves professionals and all that, but really, they're just old. Yeah, it might be a little bit older, but they really are the ones that get it done. This isn't gonna be a competition. It hadn't been for the last three years. They have had a little bit of a run, has a little bit of something to do with one of them owns the farm, one of them manages the farm. The Killbillies get every single trail camera picture that the Thump Monkeys get. You can mark this down. Thump Monkeys, three in a row. Still Billies, still taking our stuff. I think this is the Killbillies year. You know, throughout the course of the season, we have a lot of people on the farm, whether they're uh, ball players in town having a game, different celebrities in country music, or, or sick kids or wounded warriors. This is how magnanimous the Thunk Monkeys are. We always give those points to the Kill Billies because we know at the end of the year, it's not really going to matter anyway. At the end of week one, it's Thump Monkeys zero, Kill Billies nine. This has been a Sub 7 production in association with Foxworthy Outdoors.